Danny, come on, we gotta go. What's this? You're gonna be late for the airport. I got this for your bedroom, come on. What? Why? Mom, what? It's from Grandpa's house. Please, just go help your dad. Want this. We're finally unloading some of Grandpa's estate, and I thought you could use a new dresser. It's perfect. They carried it from the second floor. Well, it's here now, so you'll learn to love it. Hey, <laughs> thanks for your help, kiddo. Oh. Love you, buddy. Okay, love. Goodbye. I will see you in ten days. Mwah. Good luck on your business trip. Love you. Oh, remember to lock the house if you leave. Will do, Mom. Mwah. Okay, so you think there's some kind of poltergeist shit going on with it? I mean, I think so. There were the noises. And the lamp. Okay, I, I don't think you're crazy. Okay, that's... Look, we just, we can't tell Kelly. Why? I just feel like she'll think I'm crazy. I don't know. What are you talking about? I just walked in and saw it for myself. Look, just please keep it low key until I know what's going on here. Hey guys. 
Sorry. I was running, and then, then I showered and had dinner, and before I knew it... It's okay, man. We're just chilling here. Since when is Danny late? Also, he looks like shit. Yeah, with him watching his parents' house, he doesn't have a lot of time, and he doesn't have a car. That still doesn't explain why he looks like a grassroots activist. We're coming off a bender. What's up, guys? Not much. Where did you say you were again? Oh, I was running. So what's going on? Has anything else happened? This time, it was worse. What happened? I don't know. It's like I couldn't move. Almost as if something like, grabbed me. What got worse? What grabbed you? Uh, he, his grades got worse. His, like, failed an algebra test and mm -hmm. just kind of grabbed him and... Cute. Jamie. What's going on? Shh. I don't need everyone hearing. What's happening? Look, Kelly. Whatever you think is going on, it's worse. What do you mean? This house is haunted. Show me. No, I... Don't argue with me. Show me. So, you know how my grandpa died a few months ago? How he lived in that huge mansion? The one we went to for your 13th birthday? Yeah. So, my parents finally got around to handling some of Grandpa's estate stuff. And there's a ton of it. Yesterday, they put this, this old dresser in my room. So it's mine now. That's when all this started happening. All of what? Is it always cold in here? Pretty much, yeah. It was your grandpa's? So it was in his house. My mom said she doesn't recognize him. Guess he could have bought it shortly before he died, but who knows? Have you looked in it at all? No. Every time I get close to it, things start happening. Last night, I got held <laughs> in place when I tried to go towards it. Let's all go. MRW. My grandpa's name was Howard Mason. You here alone? Yes. I don't know about that. I don't know what to do. I think we need to go to your grandfather's house. To figure all this out. Figure out who MRW is. Maybe you're right. I'll go tomorrow. We're going with you. All right. Tomorrow. Meet here. We're staying with you tonight. I think we should stick together.
Hey, Danny, your grandfather worked for Rare Plot Realty, right? Yeah. I was looking through these old papers, and Rare Plot Realty's CFO from 1979 to 2003 was a guy named Maurice Robert Walton. MRW. Get this. This article in 2003 says Maurice was asked to leave the company after an inside job spearheaded by Howard Mason called him out for years of abuse of employees and alleged links to a violent satanic cult. It gets worse. Walton died in 2019. Last year, a former member of the cult came forward and confessed to some of the activities the cult had been doing. And dude, some of this is so messed up. Like what? The cult member confessed to the exhuming of Walton's grave and severing his hand, a crime the police had yet to solve. Oh my God. Jesus. The cult member wouldn't reveal where the hand ended up, but it's been speculated by some individual investigators that a likely location would have been somewhere within the expansive Mason estate, where Maurice MRW's longtime nemesis Howard Mason hadn't actively lived since like so, like eight years ago. He went to the nursing home. Well that explains a few things. She just got so much worse. There's only one way to find out how much. Let's grab some stuff. Bring it with us when we go over to the house. Sorry, I was tired and I lied down for a second. What the hell is going on here? Did you not hear me knock? I had my headphones in. I'm good. All right, let's go. Stick together. Danny! Danny! Yeah. Sorry. We'll stick together. Did your mom say where in the house the dresser was? Second floor, I think. We'll start there then.
Let's look around in here. Anything with the initials MRW or anything that looks like that, trust me. We really need to keep an eye on him. I know. He was acting really weird when I knocked on his door. He was, like, not even present. Not present? Yeah, when I went to his room to see what was taking so long to get the supplies. What do you mean, not present? MRW. I don't think he should be touching that. What? Why? Whoa, relax. I just think if our hunch is right and Maurice is involved in this, he could lead us to something dangerous. What? No. No. That's impossible. There's no way. I need to hold it together. I knew something was seriously wrong with Danny. It's like something is taking control over him. If this really is Walton or his spirit or whatever, this has to be some kind of revenge. What else did you read about Walton? Um, the article also said that the exhumed hand might be some form of resurrection. Remember when we were kids and Danny showed us the crawl space in the basement? His grandpa told him it was a war bunker. Yeah, what about it?
Jenny, are you okay? What happened? It's a long story. Let's get out of here. I'm hungry. You've got to be kidding me. Ashley, I'm super hungry. Let's go, let's go somewhere. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>